Russia's leading airline group, Aeroflot, has affirmed its intention to execute binding agreements for 90 MC-21 aircraft, representing one of the biggest and most major scheduled purchases of domestically manufactured airliners in recent years. The declaration was issued by the company's chief executive officer, Sergei Alexandrovsky, during the VTB Russia Calling Forum. According to Alexandrovsky, Aeroflot has repeatedly shown its willingness to finalize these agreements. However, several conditions remain to be coordinated with the aviation industry. The company is still awaiting final confirmation from manufacturers regarding production schedules and delivery terms. Aeroflot previously announced intentions of starting operations of its first MC-21 narrow-body aircraft in the fourth quarter of the upcoming year. Previous contracts involve an order for 18 MC-21 aircraft via a leasing arrangement, while the new agreement for 90 units would significantly broaden the scope of the company's modernization strategy. In recent years, Aeroflot has underscored its commitment to transitioning toward a fleet predominantly composed of domestically manufactured aircraft. By the year 2030, the group anticipates acquiring over 100 MC-21 aircraft, with long-term forecasts indicating as many as 200 aircraft by the year 2033. This ambitious transition is regarded as a strategic shift toward technological autonomy, particularly in the context of limitations on Western aviation equipment. Aeroflot's decision additionally underscores the increasing pressure on Russian airlines to substitute foreign aircraft models presently in operation. Today, domestic carriers collectively operate approximately 160 Superjet 100 aircraft used by airlines including Red Wings, Rossia, and Azimut. The introduction of the MC-21 is anticipated to represent the next major step in the renewal of Russia's civilian aircraft fleet. Nevertheless, although the airline is prepared, the execution of the 90 aircraft agreement has not yet been completed. The remaining challenges are associated with the industry's capacity to ensure consistent production schedules, timely component deliveries, and regulatory compliance for large-scale operations. The careful approach is associated with multiple factors. First is the level of industrial maturity achieved by the MC-21 program. The project has faced numerous delays over the past decade, primarily attributable to the necessity of import substitution for essential components that are no longer obtainable from international sources. Industry authorities indicate that entirely domestically produced versions of the aircraft are currently undergoing assembly fitted with Russian engines and avionics. This transition significantly reduces external dependencies and enhances the aircraft's long-term viability. Nonetheless, the process of converting a high-tech airliner from prototype to dependable mass production remains intricate, demanding consistency and excellence at every phase. From Aeroflot's perspective, developing a large, cohesive fleet centered on the MC-21 would enable the airline to streamline training, maintenance, logistics, and operational expenses. However, such advantages rely on a single critical factor, the capacity of manufacturers to produce aircraft with the consistency and dependability expected in modern commercial aviation. Until industry stakeholders conclusively verify production readiness, Aeroflot remains in a holding pattern, despite the airline's assertion that it is prepared to proceed promptly once the necessary conditions are met. Despite the ongoing high-level negotiations, the production floor is demonstrating tangible progress. On the 4th of December, the Irkutsk Aviation Plant announced the start of assembly for an additional set of domestically produced wings for the MC-21. The work is being carried out in workshop number 249, which oversees the final phases of component assembly prior to the transfer of aircraft sections to the final assembly line. One of the important phases includes attaching the wing consoles to the aircraft fuselage at a specified station. Following this, experts install onboard cable networks and essential systems such as flight control systems, anti-icing mechanisms, hydraulic lines, and air bleed components. 
According to the plant's engineers, the main duty of the department is the comprehensive assembly of the domestically produced composite wing, one of the most technologically advanced components of the MC-21. The wing, originally built with imported materials, has been entirely redesigned using Russian composites, thereby enabling serial production without dependence on foreign aerospace components. The assembly progress includes successfully installing the flap beams, adjusting the slat rails, and setting up the electrical system and buffer compartments. Work is currently progressing on the mechanisms for the slats and shutters, as well as the transmission systems. Once these procedures are finalized, specialists will proceed with the installation and calibration of the large aerodynamic surfaces themselves. This stage is essential, as the composite wing is among the MC-21's hallmark features, offering enhanced aerodynamic performance and lower fuel consumption relative to earlier Russian aircraft. The successful localization of the wing has also been regarded as a major industrial milestone. Production capacity at the Irkutsk facility continues to increase. A recently commissioned assembly structure, spanning over 12,000 square meters, was inaugurated as part of an extensive modernization initiative designed to support high-volume MC-21 production in the coming years. The simultaneous developments, Aeroflot's intention to acquire 90 aircraft and the consistent progress in wing and airframe assembly at Irkutsk signal a pivotal moment for Russia's commercial aviation industry. The MC-21, designed to replace outdated Tupolev aircraft and to complement the Superjet, is positioned to serve as the primary medium-range aircraft for domestic airlines. If Aeroflot proceeds with the order and production remains on schedule, the MC-21 has the potential to become the foundation of the national fleet for many decades. The success of the aircraft would not only rejuvenate domestic civil aviation, but also reinforce Russia's industrial autonomy in a strategically significant sector heavily impacted by sanctions. For the Irkutsk Aviation Plant and the United Aircraft Corporation, the MC-21 program presents an opportunity to establish a stable, modern, high-capacity production line for domestic airliners, a capability largely absent in Russia since the Soviet era. Successful serial production would also strengthen maintenance infrastructure, supply channels, and after-sales support systems for Russian-manufactured aircraft. Despite the encouraging progress, major hurdles continue to persist. The assembly of wings and other components, although advancing, constitutes only a single stage in the development of the aircraft. The MC-21 is still required to achieve complete certification in its fully localized configuration. Additional testing, system refinement, and performance validation must be completed before the aircraft can enter regular passenger service. Furthermore, sustained production relies on dependable domestic material supplies, timely engine deliveries, and the capacity to expand manufacturing processes while maintaining quality standards. Any delays in these areas could influence Aeroflot's decision-making timeline. Equally important will be the development of maintenance and training infrastructure. New aircraft require specialized technician training, efficient spare parts logistics, and standardized procedures across airlines. Russia is actively developing this ecosystem. However, complete readiness will take additional time. There is also the possibility that contract terms may be modified if production schedules change. Aeroflot's long-term intentions for up to 200 MC-21 aircraft depend on the industry demonstrating reliable performance over an extended period. Several important developments in the coming months will influence the aircraft's trajectory. The signing of the 90 aircraft contract represents the most highly anticipated milestone. Such a formal agreement would significantly affirm the MC-21's preparedness for market entry. Equally important is the progress of manufacturing activities in Irkutsk. The speed at which wings and airframes move to final assembly will determine whether serial production can be sustained efficiently.
Another essential stage involves the successful completion of certification and flight testing, a vital prerequisite for the MC-21 to begin commercial operations. Following this, the delivery of the first aircraft to Aeroflot will mark a significant milestone. The performance of these initial aircraft in real-world airline operations will greatly influence industry confidence. Market response will ultimately determine the overall viability of the MC-21. If it demonstrates reliability and efficiency, other airlines are likely to follow Aeroflot's example, further consolidating its place within the aviation industry. The MC-21 is evolving from a highly awaited project into a tangible industrial product. Aeroflot's willingness to execute contracts for 90 aircraft reflects growing confidence in Russia's aviation manufacturing capabilities, while the Irkutsk Aviation Plant continues advancing the production of crucial components such as composite wings. If the program continues steadily through certification, production scaling, and initial deliveries, the MC-21 may establish itself as the flagship of Russia's commercial aviation fleet within the next decade. The aircraft represents more than a new airliner, it embodies a strategic initiative to revitalize and modernize the national aerospace manufacturing industry. Challenges remain, spanning production capacity and regulatory approvals. However, recent developments suggest that the MC-21 is entering a decisive phase. The coming months will reveal whether the project can achieve the industrial momentum necessary to transform the Russian airline market. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.